to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is April. I'm a 25 year old nurse in Tampa and I am almost done with my nurse practitioner program. I graduate in August. I just finished my gynecology rotation just now. It's Monday, 12 o'clock. I needed four more hours to complete my total 192 hours and so I just came for the morning. I'm done. I'm about to go to Trader Joe's. I am going to work out today. I have a project that I want to work on, but I just am kind of still in shock that I finished it. When I started in P school in 2020, it felt like a millennia away from graduating. And now I graduate in four months and I don't know. I'm just feeling really, really grateful. I'm feeling very privileged to be where I am and I can't wait to continue the journey. I do my pediatric rotation next and I'm very excited for it. Um, I love kids. I would love to really like my pediatric rotation and work with kids, but we'll see how that goes. I thought I wanted to be a pediatric nurse and I ended up not really liking it. So we'll see if I like the other side. I don't, I don't know, but I'm feeling very grateful, very good. Um, my clinical instructor gave me some gifts. She's so sweet and my gift for her isn't coming till Wednesday. So I was like, I'm going to drop it by. I'm going to come back and see you. Um, but she gave me this little, um, I can't think of what it's called. E badge, badge holder, um, that says NP on it. And then she gave me a little keychain that has a nice little saying on it. Um, it says, behind you, all your memories, before you, all your dreams, around you, all who love you, within you, all you need. And then it has a little stethoscope and um, a little pin that says NP on it. I don't know if you guys can even see that at all, but it says NP. And it was just really sweet, really thoughtful, and she definitely did not have to give me that, but I'm feeling really grateful for having had a preceptor who was that amazing. I don't know how I got so lucky, but anyway. Let's go to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul. Boys, I need you to be quiet. Thank you. Almond milk, oat milk, two vegetable samosa burritos, zucchini, cucumber, ABC bars. This is old. <laughs> um, spinach, lettuce. I'm gonna try this out this afternoon, this matcha almond beverage. It does have sugar in it, but it's easier than making your own matcha, so I'm going to see what it tastes like. Just got some mustard for sandwiches. I got a couple things of Impossible Burger. And then these are vegetable samosas. Yes. Okay, so those are the same. Yeah, vegetable samosas that you fry. And then I got bread, a bunch of green beans. I make some green beans for the dogs, too, to have just to, like, bump up their meals and give them less kibble so that they... I don't know, they need to drop a few pounds according to their vet. So, and then I got tofu. Boys, oh my God. Um, tofu, berries, broccoli, snap peas, some more berries, green peppers, onions, garlic, chicken for the boys for dinner, some creamy unsalted peanut butter. I got two grapefruits, some go macro bars. Camper. Camper, stop. A balsamic vinaigrette and ketchup. And this is for lunch. I'm making just a sandwich right now. I'm so hungry. This is lunch. I'm watching some Gossip Girl. I got these really cute like Easter inspired flowers and then just some white roses because I thought they would go nice with that. But I might be able to make two bouquets. No. I'm actually really bad at making bouquets, so don't judge me if this doesn't turn out looking very nice. Ah, okay. <laughs> this is like not cute or aesthetic at all. Where should I put you guys so you can see better? Can you see over here? Yeah. Okay. First we need water. Hey, can't. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Just putting in the little packet that comes with it. Water. Okay. I probably need to trim these.
have to respond to three discussion board um, things. I had to write my own discussion board and then I had to respond to three. So I am sitting down to do that now. I went to the gym and took the dogs on a walk and all that type of stuff. And now it's time for me to do some work. And I don't think this should take me that long, but then I also have a PowerPoint that I need to wrap up and finish. Um, that's due on Wednesday, so I don't know. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow because I don't have clinicals, so I don't know. We'll see. Dinner tonight is couscous salad. I got the recipe from Green Chef and, like, from the box. I made it from them. And then a little, whoops, a little vinaigrette on the side. So today is Tuesday. Um... I have a doctor's appointment this morning and I haven't been to the, well, I'm not seeing a doctor. I prefer to see like a mid-level, so I'm gonna go see um, a PA. It's been four years total since I have been to any healthcare provider and done anything, so, which is bad. Um, so, gonna get ready my appointment's at 9 15 and it's 8 10 it's only a couple minutes away from here so i think i'm gonna make some coffee do like a little devotional or something i'm feeling really tired this morning oh man a little bit later i'm just sitting down to start studying well not studying i have a project that i have to work on i made myself a matcha from trader joe's that mix that i got yesterday i really like it actually the more i drink it the more i'm like oh this is really good so drinking that and then i'm going to get started on my pro well i'm basically i just need to wrap up my project i just need to make sure everything looks good that i've hit all of the points on the rubric and then i'm going to post it so it really shouldn't take me that long but i've been avoiding it for a while so i'm going to do that i do have to write a soap note on a patient that is due on like Sunday, but I'm just gonna get it out of the way today since I have time. And yeah, I saw, um, I went to the doctor this morning. I saw a PA because we love mid-level providers here and mid-level provider slander will not be tolerated on my channel, on my TikTok. <laughs> um, yesterday I got a just like hateful comment on something that I posted saying, you only saw three patients today. Like that's why NPs suck and people need to go to doctors. And I was like, I didn't answer, but in my head, I was like, first of all, I'm a student, so I would automatically see less people than the nurse practitioner or doctor or PA. And second of all, my preceptor is a doctor and she only had three patients scheduled this morning. So F off. <laughs> like the people's audacity is just crazy to me. Like you have the audacity to comment on something you've never, you have no idea about. So whatever if you prefer going to the doctor go to the doctor if you prefer going to a mid-level provider go to a mid-level provider but you don't have to make a big fuss about it it's not that big of a deal so that's all i say sorry i just had to get it out somewhere because i just deleted the comment and tried to move on but anyway that's the tea it's been a couple of hours but i just wanted to run through everything that i've done and everything that i have to work on so you can get a better idea of like the assignments that i have to do so each semester we have to do an assignment on basically what we call a patient of the day and they want it to be a wow patient so a patient who has kind of a rare diagnosis or something that we don't see very often so i did mine on adenomyosis as you can see and basically we have to take them through the patho epidemiology um, diagnosis treatment and then we have to do it on a case there's no hipaa in this so no worries but the case that we saw in the office we have to do like a full soap note on them and tell them everything that we did so i completed that and then we have to write up a little like um a synopsis of everything um which i did that really quickly but i still need to go over it but it's not due till next week so i'll work on that later and then i did write a soap note again there is no hipaa in this so um no risk of that but i did write a quick little soap note on a patient that i saw in the office a couple of weeks ago because i have that due and i guess that's all i did it seemed like more and it took me several hours so but i'm done with my computer work now i did reach out to my pediatric preceptor about days 
um, that she wants me to be with her on during the summer and that type of thing. And then I also replied to some emails just like wanting to collaborate and work together. So that's really it. It feels so nice to kind of like have some of my time back because this would be a day that I would be normally like in clinicals. So yeah, um, I'm going to take the boys on a walk and make some dinner because I'm really hungry, but making taco bowls for dinner, some green peppers. I'm going to make some guacamole, lettuce, corn. This is the best also from Trader Joe's and then some vegan nacho cheese to go on top. This is the final product. And having it with a LaCroix. We're going to a concert tonight. It's like either Hillsong, hi honey. Hillsong or one of those other like Christian artists. Honey, 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 what? Oh my, no, camper, no. The boys can like, they sense that we're getting ready to leave. But anyway, I'm like kind of dressed up. I, like kind of look cute. For the first time in forever, I never like, well, never mind. I do get dressed up in like the weekends if we go out or something, but yeah, I don't know. It should be fun. Something, a fun Tuesday night activity. I don't think that I've like pulled out the camera since last night. It ended up being a Hillsong concert, which was super fun. We had a good time, but we didn't get back home until like 11. I didn't fall asleep until almost 1 a.m. And I'm very tired today. I'm feeling it, but Today's Wednesday. I did work as um, a graduate assistant at school today. I did not film any of it because it was super busy. I was doing stuff all day. Um, and that usually isn't the case. I usually have some time to work on homework and stuff. So, which is fine because it makes the time go by faster. It's not a big deal. But anyway, it's like five something. Oh, actually it's like six something. I'm home, I'm making dinner. I'm gonna make a green chef meal tonight. It's spaghetti with mushroom bolognese. It looks pretty good. Um, but I'm feeling very tired and I'm feeling very unmotivated. So I'm just, I'm rewatching One Tree Hill. Not rewatching, I've never finished One Tree Hill before. I've only gotten like a couple seasons in and then I fall off the train. But I finished Gossip Girl for Honestly, probably the tenth time yesterday. I Gossip Girl is like my show. I just watch it on repeat, like in the background. I love Gossip Girl, so I need something new. And I'm gonna try to watch One Tree Hill all the way through. So we'll see. I've heard good things, and I have liked the first like couple of episodes that I've watched, but I never like got super into it. So we'll see. <laughs> For the 4th of July, my family always goes to um, the beach for the 4th of July. So, you know, why not just get stuff a couple of months ahead of time? I live by the beach anyway. So, that was my thought process. And Paxton had some really cute bathing suits. So, ah. the pre packaged plastic is really just not necessary. But, ooh, these look really big. Okay, so. I got this green one, which is so cute. Look, it has like little beads. Super cute. And then the um, bottoms are high-waisted. I got a large because they were out of 
mediums. I'll have to try it on and see if they fit. Um, but I just really wanted it. <laughs> my house in the back though. And then this is from their Emma Chamberlain collab um, that they just did. They have a lot of cute stuff. I'm not really like somebody who usually shops at PacSun, but for bathing suits, I really like them. These are cute. Okay. All of these bottoms are high-waisted too. So these are the bottoms. And then it's just like a little, like a sports bra top. I like these. Hey, bro, what you got? A toy? Can I see it? And then the last one I got is just a black one. I think I've owned like one black swimsuit in my entire life. And I was like, I just need a classic one. And these bottoms look so cute. They're kind of like a, I don't know how to describe that material. But they're high-waisted and like they come up on the sides. One second. And then this is the top. Okay, this is so cute. Just like really simple. I like really simple um, bathing suits. I don't like anything fancy because I like to like swim and walk on the beach and actually do things and I don't want to be uncomfortable. So I'm going to try those on and see how I fit. Good morning, you guys. Happy Thursday. I'm in a great mood today. I'm going to have a great day. My dog is drinking out of the toilet bowl right now. If you can hear that, it's kind of embarrassing, but it's life. And I'm just getting ready. I'm working at UT today from 12 to 3. I'm running a little bit late per usual. And I don't have class today. I don't have my women's class because we did like um, a discussion board and we have to respond to three people. So that's like in place of class, which is fine because I don't really... Um, unfortunately, I don't have a very amazing professor for that class, so I feel like I teach myself everything anyway. Oh, the battery in my camera's dying. So, anyway, I'm just getting ready, and I'm going to go there, and then I'm just going to come home because, yeah, I'm excited. I do have to work. I'm working per diem in the hospital tomorrow, so that kind of sucks. But I'm trying to be really positive about it. The last time that I was there was a really hard day, um, which can make it really difficult to go back. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm going to make money and I'm going to come home and everything's going to be fine no matter what happens there. That's what I'm telling myself. And I only have a couple of months left of working there. So I can do it. I can do anything. I've been doing this for so many years. So. I'm just hyping myself up at this point. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just getting ready. My camera's about to die, so. It's a little bit later. <laughs> it's like, um, what time is it? It's 6, it's 5.50, Thursday evening. I went to work just for three hours, and I, I didn't film anything because I was literally just helping with um, the VSN lab the whole time, so there's there's really nothing to film. Um, they learned about, like, code cards and rapid responses and post-mortem care and things like that and honestly I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety today just because I have to go back to work at the hospital tomorrow and the last time that I'm that I was there honestly it was like probably one of the worst shifts of my life and that sounds really dramatic <laughs> sounds so dramatic actually but it was just a really bad shift and I'm having anxiety about going back, about the possibility of getting floated and all that type of stuff. And I, I hate having that type of anxiety because there's nothing I can do about it. So why worry about it? And I try to tell myself that. So um, yeah, I'm just kind of dealing with that right now. I did do just kind of like a, a little hack that I use when I'm feeling really anxious is I will go in a room by myself, shut my dogs out and put my legs up on the wall and just kind of practice deep breathing for a little while, which I know sounds kind of silly, but it's very helpful. And then I went on a walk and kind of decompressed. 
um, cleaned up a little bit around my house and that always kind of helps me to feel less cluttered. So I'm feeling a bit better. Sometimes, you know, anxiety is just a part of life and you have to deal with it. So that's cool. Um, and now I'm just actually downloading images from, or sorry, uh, video clips from this week so I can start editing the vlog for Sunday because I want to like be on top of it because I don't have I have some schoolwork I could do, but I just don't really want to work on it right now. So it's kind of nice to be able to have that option. I'm not like super pressed for time or anything and I can take some time. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just waiting for, I'm waiting for these clips to download and then I'm going to start editing it. I'm making the last green chef dinner tonight. Baja cauliflower bowls. I'm really yeah, I mean, I'm not that into it. I just really forgot to cancel this week's, and that's why <laughs> we have these meals. But I've got some rice cooking, veggies, cauliflower. Honestly, this looks gross, but it's pretty good. It is Saturday and I feel like so exhausted from work yesterday. It wasn't a really bad day. It was very, very busy though. And which is, you know, kind of to be expected, of course. And it makes the day go by faster. But um, we got home last night. We had Thai food. We finished watching The Ultimatum on Netflix, which. I really liked like the season and then I was just disappointed in how everybody like what they chose to do so whatever it's not my life but anyway so I finished watching that and then just crashed on the couch and eventually made it back to my bed to sleep and now it's Saturday morning I'm making a coffee and I'm gonna sit down and start editing this video I'm not working today so that's very nice it's gonna be a beautiful day we might go to the beach so yeah it's gonna be a good weekend but anyway thank you guys for watching this vlog if you enjoyed it let me know and i'll see you in the next one bye